I love being here. I love the energy that is here. I love feeling the momentum that is here. I love everyone that's in this room. And you know where here is that you're describing? High flying disc. Yes. You can take it everywhere you go. It's yes. like American Express. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the last week, I've been practicing every morning, waking up and feeling my high flying disc and just feeling the presence of being here. And one of the things that I'm in the process of creating is financial abundance. Um, I'm in a place where I want to experience so much more. I want to come to the cruise and I hear in the back of my mind, I don't have $3,000. And I want to learn how to stay in that high flying place, how to be there on a regular basis and how to know that I have the money when the time comes. Can you help me with that? Well, our friend would tell you to write the story as if you were there and how and talk about how much fun you had. And we think that's a good idea too. But we also, we want to, we want to remind you that everything that we've been talking about here today is about this vibrational currency. Okay. There's a vibrational currency that buys things, wrong word, but buys things that money can't buy. Yes. Uh, far, 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 far more things than money yes. can buy. So as you begin consciously trading in this vibrational currency, watching the timing that it affords mm -hmm. and the expansion of time and the clarity and, and the, the rendezvousing with components that are important as you begin trading in this vibrational currency and you do your best to leave money out of the equation. Okay. What happens is that vibrational currency will transform itself into any means that is important to you. It will transform itself into more time. It will transform. Have you ever had an experience? Esther was driving the monster bus a few years ago in New York and this bus was 45 feet long and they were towing a car behind it weighed 65,000 pounds wow. the toll booth the, the toll guy told them that one day when they went through you can't go through you weigh too much they said well <laughs> we can dump our sewer can let our water off he opened the gate and let them go so very heavy very long very tall very big moving at 65 miles an hour down the freeway and some teenagers scooted alongside of them wanted to take that exit and scooted off right in front of them and Esther put her foot on the brake on the bus and the bus just sat right down Wow. It was illogical to both Jerry and Esther that they were able to, with that, all of that momentum and all of that weight, avoid running right over the top of those kids. And in the experience, everything went into slow motion for Esther. Mm -hmm. It was as if the world that she was focused upon, upon transformed itself to allow her behavior and the functionality of the bus to perform in illogical ways it's like time transformed itself so when we say as you trade in this vibrational currency time will transform itself to accommodate you your cells will transform themselves to accommodate you traffic will transform itself to accommodate you the weather will transform itself to accommodate you in other words we're not kidding you about this at all dollars will transform themselves opportunities will transform themselves you get in that you get into that frequency and things that you have considered the way they are stable even physically law-based become different as you trade your currency in for these things that are necessary under certain experiences in other words Jerry and Esther will never understand how they didn't run over those kids right. 
time literally stood still and afforded them more opportunity to do the things that they needed to do in order to accommodate them and you have no idea how many things like that are happening on your behalf in every day but you're zigging and zagging and missing a lot of it because you're not on the high flying disc where you are spending the vibrational currency that you have amassed take money out of the equation take time out of the equation take politics out of the equation take religion out of the equation take confrontation out of the equation take opposition out of the equation take competition out of the equation take everything that has ever been hindering in nature out of your equation because you practice it not and then watch what happens you cannot be denied anything that matters to you if this time space reality has the wherewithal mm -hmm. to inspire an idea within you it has the wherewithal to deliver the goods you see and sometimes you think that what we're saying to you is oh just get on your high flying disc and you'll feel so good you won't care that you're not on that cruise that's not what we're saying at all right. we're saying get on your high flying disc and the universe will yield a means to accommodate you about anything that matters to you you see can you Esther and Jerry thought a lot about those cruises because the expense of the cruise is mostly about the food and the accommodations it's right. a lot of money for people to spend shouldn't we just go have a seminar somewhere that doesn't cost them so much that we can share the expenses in a, in a way that we can keep the prices really low and we say put your prices choose your experiences based upon what feels the best and let everyone discover that the universe will yield to them let people discover the power of their own vibrational currency you say it's very good this is the first that I'm really hearing about the fourth step can you elaborate more on that well it's simple so you come you you're non-physical before you come into this physical body and still are even though you're in this physical body so there is this vibrational relationship all the time so here you are in your physical body focusing on the variety and the contrast knowing what you don't want asking for what you do want sending off these rockets of desire that have been honed out of the experience that you're having okay. so that's the asking the contrast causes you to do step one which is ask source then rounds up everything all of the vibrational components and that's that vortex of creation that we've been talking about that's step two source answers by vibrationally assembling everything necessary and step three you know is you finding vibrational alignment with that so that there's no vibrational variance between the between the vibrational version and the reality version in other words things have to be translated from the vibration into your conscious awareness of it in order for it to be apparent to you in this physical experience how do things get from the vibration into the reality well that's that's what that step three is that's what knowing what you're doing in this vibrational point of attraction that's why we've been emphasizing this grid this point of attraction this spinning grid It's why your emotions matter so much establish a point of attraction and so when your point of attraction frequency is the same as the frequency in your vortex it flows right into your experience and you will you have it in a manifested actualized demonstrated manifested way so now you're deliberately getting up and you're getting on your high flying disc yes. and you're good at it you're good yes. at it yes you're good things at are coming to me you're things good are working you're at good it. at it you feel good you feel good you feel good you're feeling the momentum of it it's easier every day to get there and it's easier every day to stay there once you get there and in even if you slip off it's easier to get back there yep. and there's always another day anyway so you're chronically there your clarity is more stable your your stamina is more stable your vitality is more stable you just feel your fun is more stable you find yourself laughing about things that you were swearing about you find yourself finding humor in things that used to be annoying you you your view of life is transformed you're right. chronically there and now that you are chronically there contrast doesn't stop okay. it just comes to you at a higher level of vibration but your stability is such that you don't take those dips so 
now as you're knowing what you don't want and asking for what you do want there's not this gap vibrationally between the asking and the answering okay. there's a are you following what we're getting at there the 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 frequency gap between the question and the answer or the problem and the solution is almost non-existent so that by the time the question occurs the answer is right there ready for you to pluck it by the time the problem presents itself to you the solution has already been found so that it's like question answer it's like problem solution it's like empowered me it's like source has my back me it's like all is well me it's like oh now I remember why I came into this environment of variety step four changes the feeling you have about contrast from unwanted and wanted from bad stuff and good stuff to oh it's all good but what's the best choice from here hmm. that's the step four experience okay. it's like all these lovers would be appropriate <laughs> which one suits me most now it's like you get it I get it we like telling you that <laughs> we've enjoyed this interaction you are a wonderful group of consciousness is 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 it's exhilarating to us to play with you and it has been satisfying to us to feel your frequencies moving into alignment with who you really are steadily as a result of the conversations that we've had it's our powerful desire that you not work hard at this and that you just take as much of the simplicity from this conversation as you can today and just practice a few things that have occurred to you that would be easy for you to practice so that you can demonstrate to yourself the accuracy the vibrational accuracy of these words words don't teach it's only life experience that teaches but we've been together for enough hours and you've contemplated this deliberate creation from enough different angles that it is our absolute promise to you that by making a decision when you put yourself in your bed tonight to wake up intending to reach for something that feels good and then lie in your bed long enough that you find something that feels good and don't ask the momentum of it to be so strong that it makes you yodel down the canyon <laughs> just ask for it to be soft and in alignment and trust that law of attraction will make it more day after day after day after day after day after day after day prove to yourself the power of your focus and let the universe demonstrate to you the perfection of your goodness this is what we wish for you we want you to know the powerful goodness with which you have come forth into this physical experience and we want you to live the promise that you made to yourself the happily ever after promise the uplifting promise the life is satisfying promise there is great love here for you and as always we remain stubbornly no that's not quite right inspirationally happily in the vortex